Hey everyone, today's it is about when he slaps you in front of the whole class. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki, you have been fighting for God knows what. You didn't even know. You just woke up really angry and you knew that you had to fight and hit someone. Um, and your target was Mr. Bakugo. Which should never actually be him. And honestly, it was surprising. The way he reacted to your words. Like, you just woke up and told him that you never wanted to do a shit with him. What does that actually mean? He didn't understand. But you woke up like shit and you didn't know why. What the heck do you mean by that? I don't know, alright? But just stay out of my face. What the heck's going on with you, Ion? Right now, we were fighting in front of the whole class. I don't know what's up with me. Can you just shut up? Come on. Stop before I put a stick up your ass or something. <sighs> that is enough, you know. No, it's not enough. You deserve more than that. You have always been... So... You didn't even know what you were saying. But then you felt a stinging pain in your cheeks. Which made it hurt. Did he really just slap you in front of all of them? That was so embarrassing. And other than that, it hurts you. How could he ever do that to you? But then when you thought about it, you could really say it was both of your faults. But still, the embarrassment you felt made you run back to your dorm. Even though you hurt him, saying your name multiple times. You couldn't care less now. You were just slapped in front of your friends, in front of the teacher. This was probably the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you. Bakugo knocked on your door, trying to get your attention. He wanted to apologize so bad. Seriously. He knew that what you did was really annoying and shocking since it came out of nowhere. But then again, he never should have done that. Never. No matter what you had done, never should he have done that. Seriously, what kind of boyfriend is he? He just slapped you in front of an entire class, embarrassing the hell out of you. What do you want? You said from behind the door. I'm, I'm really sorry, Wyan. I don't know what came over me, look. I know it's my fault and all. Shh. Don't say it's your fault. It's both of ours. But still, I don't want to see your face now. Please, just stay away from me. You probably will lock yourself in your room for a few days. Because you didn't want to see any of them. Which was kind of sad since it wasn't really only your fault. It was yours and his. But you will ignore it for now. I'm so sorry. Really. I mean it. I know that you do. But stay away from me, okay? We can talk about this later. I don't want to see you now. Please. You sobbed your heart out. Making him feel even more bad. God, he wanted to cry. How did he manage to make you this sad? He really felt bad. I'm sorry. And then he laughed. Tadaki Shoto. Tadaki was really mad at you. You have been trying to talk to him and tell him that it's okay for his father to want him to marry someone else. Basically, Tadaki had another fight with Endivore about you. He wanted him to break up with you. And... And marry someone rich. And not only rich, but someone who has a suitable quirk. But Tadaki was denying that. He didn't want to marry someone just for the quirks. Just for this child. Not like him. He wasn't going to be like his father. Never. But then he kept convincing him that it was okay. That he should listen to him. 
And that was when he actually got mad in front of the whole class, slapping you. Uh, should I? <sighs> I'm sorry. Really? And then he was out of sight, probably going to his room. He felt so bad for what he did. He really didn't want to see you because he felt so bad. Someone had to fix this whole situation. Midori took it over himself. Going to Tataki and Uraka going to your room. So, what exactly happened? You told her about the whole situation while Tataki was telling Midoriya. The couple tried to help you as much as they could, telling you that it was okay for you to fight, that it was necessary in this relationship. But other than that, you knew what could happen. You knew that his father was really bad and he could do anything to you and your family if he wanted to. But you knew that Choto would stop him. You had to respect Choto, too. That's what Uraga had said, which was really true. You should have listened to him. So, you apologized to Uraga, telling her that you were going to him, and she talked to Midoriya, calling him over. You met Midoriya in the hallways, and he took you in the corner. Look, it's going to be alright. He has calmed down a little, but still, please try to respect his opinion too. I mean, it is the right one. <sighs> okay. I will. Thank you, Midoriya. It's nothing, really. And then you were headed out to his dorm. Look, I'm really sorry. Really. I didn't understand what I was doing and I... I'm just really sorry. It's alright. Really. I understand your opinion too. I mean, I understand why you were saying that. It was for me. I'm sorry I stopped you in front of them. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It was my fault. No, it wasn't yours. It was mine. Maybe both of ours, but it's okay. We didn't really listen to each other. And that is both of our faults. I promise to be better, Ryan. I'm sorry. Me too. I promise. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. That was such a good, um, makeup, m making up? I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye. I love you all so much.